Tonight, we're learning a woman in her 80s has died after a fire broke out in her home. We've also learned that that same fire killed at least 15 of her toy poodles. It's happened Saturday near 43rd Avenue and Bell. ABC 15's Luz Delia Caballero just spoke with the woman's son and got an update on those dogs. And all seven of those dogs that survived that house fire were brought right here to the Arizona Humane Society. Since then, one has unfortunately passed away. And hi, baby. Here are two of those dogs that are currently being treated here. Earlier, we spoke to a neighbor who tells us exactly what he did when he saw those flames coming out of the house. I couldn't do much. Edro Percival says it all happened so fast. The only thing I can do is try to fight the uh, fire that was coming on the port. I don't even know how. He says as soon as he saw the flames, he didn't waste any time. Percival grabbed his hose and ran over. When firefighters came, he let them know there were dogs and his neighbor in the house. We tried, but with everything that was going on and the severity of it, you know. Officials say firefighters found around 20 dogs in kennels inside the house. The majority of those dogs didn't make it. There were seven that survived. One unfortunately passed away while in our trauma hospital, and there are six right now with very uh, guarded prognoses. Kelsey Dickerson with the Arizona Humane Society says one of those six is currently fighting for its life in the hospital's triage area. So they were found matted, tick infested, as well as a little underweight, which suggests maybe they were living in some horde like conditions. So in addition to being treated for smoke inhalation, um, they're also being tested for valley fever, tick fever, and things of that. That nature. Evan Polly identifying his mom is 86 year old Marilyn Polly, an internationally known show toy poodle breeder. My mother died fighting to save these animals who were not kept in crates. They were kept in runs that my father, my mother, and I built together. He says neighbors heard his mother begging firefighters to grab the dogs. The neighbors said she kept repeating, leave me save the dogs. My mother was a licensed Maricopa County Kennel for over 24 years. And while the Arizona Humane Society says the dogs were underweight, Polly says that's not the case. These were kennel animals that were used to produce quality offspring for show and to provide very loving pets for many, many people. Polly says he also had two dogs who died in the garage, adding he's devastated by the loss of his mom. I'm going to miss her. I feel heartbroken for the dogs and I feel for her. Lustelia Caballero, ABC 15, Arizona. Phoenix police tell us there is no indication at this point of foul play.